Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, December 9th. It's the second Sunday in Advent and week two in the Psalm Cycle. And please pardon the background noise, they're building a new house uh, across the street. The scripture for this service, Psalms 148 and 149. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 1 through 7, and Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 through 11. And now join me in singing the second verse of Once He Came in Blessing. Still He comes within us, still His voice would win us, from the sins that hurt us, would in truth convert us. Not in torment hold us, but in love enfold us. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. Psalms 114 and 115, and please recite them with me. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel from an alien people, Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. The sea saw and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. Why, O sea, did you flee? By Jordan were you driven back? By mountains that you skip like rams, and you little hills like lambs. Tremble earth at the presence of God Most High, at the presence of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, which turned the rock into a pool, and the flint into a fountain of waters. Not to us, God Most High, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for your mercy's sake lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. <clears throat> Our God does whatever God pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses they have, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet they have, but they cannot walk. And neither can they speak through their throat, and they that make them are like them, and so is everyone who trusts in them. O Israel, trust in the Most High. God is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron and Elizabeth, trust in the Most High. God is your help and your shield. You that fear the Most High, trust in the Most High. God is your help and your shield. <clears throat> the Most High has been mindful of us. God will bless us. God will bless the house of Israel. God will bless the house of Aaron and Elizabeth. God will bless them that fear the Most High, both small and great. The Most High shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed by God Most High, who made heaven and earth. The heavens are God's, but the earth is given to its peoples. The dead do not praise you, Most High, neither any that go down into silence but we will bless you from this time forth and forevermore. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 7, beginning at verse 28. Jesus said, I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God, because they had been baptized with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptized by him, the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purpose for themselves. To what then will I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. 
We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not weep. For John came, for John has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. A canticle from the first book of Chronicles. And please recite it with me. Blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. Yours is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and on the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. Now therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.